and we're calling for working class unity. This must be forged, of course, on the picket line. Any reckoning we are to have with the establishment will only be successful when we turn every single branch into a fighting one. So, pay for colleagues across the public sector, the NHS workers, teachers and civil service continues to fall further behind the cost of living increases. After a decade of real term pay cuts, we need to protect all public sector workers against the impact of the current cost of living crisis. They told us we were key workers and had us working in schools throughout the pandemic with little to no PPE. No ventilation and in many instances risk assessments which were not fit for purpose. And this is how they reward us, whilst being in the midst of a cost of living crisis. We also failed to receive a recognition payment in line with all our key workers. I call on the government to put this right and to ensure all staff within the education sector receive this recognition payment. But we are now out for two weeks. If it takes another two weeks, if it takes four weeks, our General Secretary Sharon Graham has said quite clearly to the head of the Labour Party, we will not starve our members back to work. Yes. We, will not we will be out as long as it takes. And again, all the other trade unions that come on board in solidarity with us, we don't want to do this. We are forced to it. There's people there, working class poverty, it's going through the roof. So, everybody's joined here today in solidarity. And again, I am glad to see the May Day rally back again where it should be. Thank you, everybody. Solidarity. So we need a proper university. We need a new university with good, proper numbers. We need a university that serves the needs of Derry in the Northwest. But we also need a university that respects its workers, its students, and the people of its city and region as well. Thank you very much. And you really had to work fast to get a wage in the shirt factory, let me tell you. We loved, we loved working in the shirt factory because we had so many friends. We were all like a big family. But you had to work damn hard, excuse my language, to come out with a decent wage on a Friday. This city only works because the people in it work. And the day we all simultaneously stop working, the only thing that will actually continue to move will be the world itself. And that is an awesome amount of power that we do not realize that consciously realize that we have. Because if we did, it's near time we were using it.